sa trustworthy minister of Christ on your behalf and who also told us of your love and the Spirit. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I trust in the mercy of God forever. I trust in the mercy of God forever. I, like a green olive tree in the house of God, trust in the mercy of God forever and ever. I trust in the mercy of God forever. I will thank you always for what you have done and proclaim the goodness of your name before your faithful ones. I trust in the mercy of God forever. Please stand there. The Lord sent me to bring glad tidings to the poor and to proclaim liberty to captives. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. After Jesus left the synagogue, he entered the house of Simon, Simon's brother-in-law, mother-in-law, was afflicted with a severe fever, and they interceded with him about her. He stood over her, rebuked the fever, and it left her. She got up immediately and waited on them. At sunset, all who had people sick with various diseases brought them to him. He laid his hands on each of them and cured them. And demons also came out from many, shouting, You are the Son of God. But he rebuked them and did not allow them to speak, because they knew that he was the Christ. At daybreak, Jesus left and went to a deserted place. The crowds went looking for him, and when they came to him, they tried to prevent him from leaving them. But he said to them, to the other towns also I must proclaim the good news of the kingdom of God, because for this purpose I have been sent. And he was preaching in the synagogues of Judea. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. And welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary. Siguro kung ngayon nangyari itong, itong ngayon na buhay si Jesus at ngayon nagtatrabaho, nagpapagaling, uh, nagpapatanggal uh, ng demonyo, nagpapataboy ng demonyo sa mga taong possessed at nagtuturo, eh, siguro naging viral si Jesus. No? Sa YouTube, nagsiguro maraming manonood sa kanya. No? Maraming magka-capture ng mga ginagawa niya. Eh, maraming, from the gospel, no? maraming sumusunod. Maraming sumusunod kay Jesus para nagdadala ng mga may sakit nila. Maraming sumusunod para makinig sa kanyang mga tinuturo at maraming tinuro si Jesus sa atin, sa Gospels, sa mga parables. Maraming siyang tinuro sa atin. At aside from giving us parables also about the kingdom of God. So maraming maraming ginagawa si Jesus. At dahil dyan, maraming maraming tao sumusunod sa kanya in demand. Si Jesus. Kaya nga, sabi dito sa gospel, di ba, pagkatapos sa pagalingin yung mother-in-law ni Peter, pagkatapos sa pagaling na iba pang mga may sakit at mag-drive out ang demons from those who are possessed. Pagdating na daybreak, imagine natin ha, daybreak na, sabihin, mag-uumaga na, madaling araw na. Malapit na sumikat yung araw. Nagtrabaho siya mag magdamag, maggabing magdamag, no? It, it seems like, no? na kasi sunset pa lang dinadala na ng mga tao yung mga may sakit sa kanya tapos ano susunod na times time uh, uh, reflection is they break na from sunset if he went to daybreak he was curing people driving away evil spirits no? daybreak so matagal na siyang nagtatrabaho pagod na pagod na siguro at, at nung daybreak na yun he went to a deserted place Maraming beses na ginawa ni Jesus yan, no? Maraming beses na natin narinig. 
na ginagawa ni Jesus yan, to go to a deserted place. And usually, if he goes to a deserted place, ano ginagawa niya? Nagdadasal. Nagpapahinga, nagdadasal. Nagdadasal. Pero kahit gustong gusto na niya magpahinga at magdasal, nagdatingan na naman yung mga crowds, hinahanap na naman siya, ayaw siyang paalisin. Ayaw siyang tantanan sa ating language ngayon. No? Ayaw siyang tantanan. Gusto, lang, gusto niya mag-continue lagi si Jesus ng kanyang pag, pag, pagpapagaling at pagpapadrive ng evil spirits. No? And so Jesus tells them, I must, hindi niyo ako pwedeng i-keep, you know, i- patigilin dito sa inyong lugar. I have to move, move out. I have to move to other towns. I have to proclaim the good news of the kingdom of God to the other towns also. Hindi lang dito, hindi lang kayong tao sa mundo. Ang sabi ni Jesus, no? I have to go to other towns and proclaim the kingdom of God there too. Why? Because this is the purpose for which I have been sent. This is the purpose for which I have been sent to proclaim the kingdom of God. Bakit important? Yeah, napaka sa tingin ko, dito sa gospel na binasa natin, yun yung medyo napaka importante. I have to go to the other towns to proclaim the kingdom of God because it is for this that I have been sent. Importante yan para sa akin kasi pagbasa ko niyan, tinatanong ko yung sarili ko at in-offer ko sa inyo ngayon na itanong din sa sarili ninyo. For what have you been sent? For what have you been sent? May mga particulars, no? Ako, I feeling ko, I mean, after 36 years in the priesthood, I think I've been sent to become a priest, no? To, to preach, to teach, to pray, to try to have a good life. Kayo dyan na mga magulang, mga doktor siguro, engineers, business people, ano man ang estado ninyo sa buhay? Those are the things kung, kung nakaka-effective yan sa inyo, productive yan sa inyo, then that's where you have been sent by God. But you've been sent by God in those types of work, in those situations, so that generally and general calling natin is so that we can proclaim the kingdom of God in our being mothers and fathers, in our being priests, in our being teachers and engineers and doctors, in our being ordinary people, we have to proclaim the kingdom of God. Lahat tayo, bakit? Eh, tagasunod tayo ng Panginoon eh. Followers tayo ni Jesus eh. Tayo na yung, tayo na nagpapatuloy sa trabaho ni Jesus dito sa mundo eh. So we also need to proclaim the kingdom of God. Ano ibig sabihin tayo ba kailangan? Kasi yung ways ang yung ways ni Jesus para mag-proclaim ng, king, <coughs> ng, ng kingdom of God. Yan, di ba? Yung nagpagaling, nag-drive out ang evil spirits, nagturo. Ibig ba sabihin, magpapagaling din tayo, magda-drive away din tayo ng evil spirits at magtuturo din tayo? Oo. Oo, yun ang ibig sabihin. But in a different way. In a different way. Hindi natin... Unless we get the gift of healing, no? But otherwise, we also can heal by, you know, in our small and simple ways. Diba? Yung mga malulukot, pwede natin pasayahin ng konti, bigyan ng pag-asa. Maraming ways, di ba? More ordinary, day-to-day kind of ways. Pwede natin, pwede tayo mag-proclaim ng kingdom of God by healing the sicknesses of people. Not the sickness that only doctors and healers can do, but the healing that we ordinary people can do. As I said, yung magpagaan ng kalooban ng tao, magpatawad. Malaking bagay yun na pwedeng-pwede natin gawin, and yet mahirap, di ba? Magpatawad, magbigay, maging generous, maging nice. Hindi laging nakasimangot, no? Magsmile. That's already proclaiming the kingdom of God kasi pinapakita mo sa tao, maligaya ka. There are so many other ways, a million ways, a million ways of proclaiming the kingdom of God. Why? 
because this also is what we are meant to do. This is what we are sent to do in our stations in life right now. Ano man yung estado natin sa buhay? Isa sa, siguro isa, sa pa, isa pa sa mga general invitation sa atin is yung tinuturo sa atin ni Pope Francis today. So supposedly, Pope Francis has declared to be the World Day of Prayer for, crea- for Care of Creation. Pag-alaga sa kalikasan, sa mga uh, nilikha ng Diyos. Pwede, pwede natin gawin yan, di ba? Again, there are millions of ways of caring for creation. And we also are called to that. And caring for creation is also a way of proclaiming the kingdom of God. So, dami. Everything's at our fingertips, no? Kahit saan ka lumingon, meron kang magagawa to proclaim the kingdom of God. Sana may makumit din natin yung sarili natin. At lumino yung mata natin na makita natin bawat opportunity to proclaim God's kingdom wherever we are. Wherever we are. Let us all stand down. Like the people who brought to Jesus all who were sick or possessed by demons, we bring before our Heavenly Father all who are filled with pain and sorrow and in need of healing love. After each petition, we say, Divine Physician, heal us. Divine Physician, heal us. Do the Church may seek to free persons for, from whatever stands in the way of communicating the Gospel to men and women of our time. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine Physician, heal us. That the Lord may give hope and encouragement to the starving of the world who are unjustly deprived of food, clothing, or freedom. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine Physician, heal us. That those who suffer from depression and anxiety may find in Christ an assured anchor as the way, the truth, and the life. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine Physician, heal us. That those suffering through illness for whom life has become an intolerable burden, may see meaning in their trials. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine Physician, heal us. That the dead and those who, who mourn may have hope in the resurrection of Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine Physician, heal us. Let us also pray for our own personal intentions and for the special intentions of this Mass. We pray to the Lord. Divine physician, heal us. Almighty Father, watch over your family, protect us, and keep us in your care, for all our hope is in you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness you have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness you have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand.
Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift, since our praises add nothing to your greatness but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, hosts heaven and, and earth, earth are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name, name of the Lord. Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, a fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Socrates, our Bishop, Fidelis, his auxiliary bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand let us pray now to our Father in heaven in the words that our Lord himself has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, 
and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace, spirit. Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. This is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to this banquet. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Please rise. Renewed by this bread from the heavenly table, we beseech you, Lord, that being the food of charity, it may confirm our hearts and steer us to serve you in our neighbor through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for the announcement. Brothers and sisters, good morning. The Dominican community of the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag is pleased to inform you that the October Feast of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag will be on October 3, 2021, first Sunday of October. 
The Novena Masses will be scheduled at 6 a.m., 7.30 a.m., 9 a.m., 10.30 a.m., 12 noon, and 4 p.m., 4.30 p.m. from September 24 to October 2, 2021. Additional Mass at 3 p.m. on September 26, Sunday. We invite you to participate in this Novena Masses and be one with us in expressing our devotion to Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. If you wish to sponsor one or several of the Novena Masses, you may fill out the form at the counters for Masses area and submit it with your donation, and you will be given an acknowledgement receipt. Or you may visit our website, www.manawagminorbasilica.org at online pamisa where you will find available online and other options for donation. All names of donors and sponsors for Novena Masses will appear in the Electronic Sovereign Program. Thank you very much for your continued support. God bless you. Please stand. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat sa pakikisa sa Santa Misa. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is ended. We go in the peace and the love of Christ. Thanks be to God. We now bless the sick and pray for your, bless your religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary. May all these articles be blessed and those who use them made holy as they fulfill the will of God according to the example of the Blessed Mother. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.